All right, it's Megan here with Wayfaring Games to do a Constantar here draft. Uh, I'm being helped tremendously by Keegan. Um, I have drafted cons one time uh, in person and I did terrible, so I'm gonna try again with some assistance. Um, and plus I've been watching all these, you know, Wayfaring Games videos for, for quite a while, so hopefully that will make me, uh, so hopefully I've learned something there. Um, this is a new player Phantom Tournament. I can use my new player points that I got when I signed up. So, yeah, let's uh, let's get Mosey in. Yeah, I didn't break it this time, so we will see you when we get started. Okay. All right. So. Okay. Uh, rarity. Yep. yep. Uh, so your rare is Sultai Ascendancy. Not that great. Uh, Bellowing Sataru is pretty much instant pick here. It's a yeah. monocolor card. Mm -hmm. It's a 4-5 for 4. Um, and looking around, like, Sultai, you want to right-click it just once. That's what I did. Or left-click it. Okay, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah, okay. it's reserved right now. Um and uh, Sultai Soothsayer is, is an awesome card. I love that card, but uh, Belling Shadow Brutes is just probably a hair better. And it keeps you keeps you just in black. Right. Um, Hooting Mandrels is also a nice one. Um, you probably know all this because you've watched a lot of stuff, though. So that was, that was actually the one I was thinking. So. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. Yay. The hours and hours and hours <laughs> of watching this have definitely. <sighs> yeah, I get it. Oh wow, Abzan Ascendancy. Oh, wow. Oh, I. What do you like here? I mean, that seems pretty good to me. Uh, well, all three of those cards. Those those first three cards right. are all pretty stellar. Um. um. A woolly locks on. This is just a bomb pack. You still got 35 seconds, so yeah. like you can think it out. Um, I do really like Abzan Ascendancy. It does pull you three colors. Chief of the Edge is just okay, as I'm good. Like these um, Abzan Battle Priest is just as good. Actually, well, Ab Abzan Battle Priest is probably the worst of the three. So, yeah. so I guess the question is whether I want to go with Abzan. I do like playing Abzan. Or, well, the one time I played it. it okay, it, we'll select one of the two right uh, now. Which one? Okay. <laughs> You're back. Um, I know you like this card. I do like Icy Blast. It's not in your colors, so. though. Right. Oh, I guess it is the problem with choosing that. Um, <coughs> you can... I see the last. I do like Wooly Loxodon, though, here. Oh, yeah. Um, that's a, that's a good pick up here. I see Blast. I don't think I see Blast is good enough to change colors into at this point. Uh, I just like like eliminating the the competition for that color. If you if you really want to play Icy Blast, no. pick it. I'm no. I'm okay with that though. Smite the monsters will be good on the on the comeback around maybe. Mm -hmm. Cool. That wheel. Yep. Oh look at her using terminology. Um Ugh. Yeah. So, lots of blue cards. Hardened scale is not great, but it is, it does combo with Abzan Ascendancy pretty well. But it's a trap. So. I think you probably pick one of these blue cards here. And... Because Highland Game really isn't worth uh, worth going, worth picking yes, right now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, there's a whisper in the dark of disown disown ancestor. I have no idea what to pick, so. Pick the disown ancestor. Yeah. Okay. I will listen to the whisper. <laughs> the voice is in my head. <laughs> um, the hoodie mandrel's back. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, Ponyback is pretty nice too. Um, just because it's a morph. And yeah, I do like that card. Or yeah. I like. It looks like it's fun to play when. Yeah, and it, it, it actually combos pretty well with Abzan Ascendancy. If you f flip it and then uh -huh. and then do that. Uh, is I mean, it's not gonna be a huge problem going into. Uh, well, you're just playing it because it's a more. I think my Hooting Mandrels is fine here though. I do like that card though. Yeah, you'll probably see another one though. I think oh, it's okay. better better to stick with your colors. Okay. If you didn't have a card to pick, though, yeah. I would pick the, uh, the pony back. Mm. Um, I do like Wooly Loxon on here, but uh, probably the Mardu Skull Hunter. Plus, I have some like familiarity with him. Yeah, that uh, well, you've got a one drop to combo into him already. I'm not actually that big a fan of Disown Ancestor anymore. Uh, it's kind of went down for me. Killing on the war. <laughs> oh, I want this guy. I, I think I think Marty with Skull Hunter is better here. Huh. Well, Abzan's pretty highly drafted here, but that isn't a huge deal because Abzan is so strong that you can force Abzan. Uh, forcing Abzan is one of the easier things to do because there are so many great cards. Um, I like Roar of the Challenge and Ride Down, even Trumpet Blast or Defiant Strike. But Roar of the Challenge is probably a pretty um, irreplaceable card. What do you think? Mm -hmm. That makes Select sense. Select it. Select it. Oh, shit. I don't know what I got. I got uh, Defiant Strike. You got Defiant Strike, which actually isn't bad. Chat. Didn't uh, we already see this pack, like, three three picks ago? or? Well, there's only four people, so. Oh, okay. So, I guess. Yeah, that's that's true. So, everybody's drafting Absin. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um... I say pick up the Highland Gang. Okay. Speed things up a little bit. Uh, there's uh, either Cranial Archive or Active Treason. Um. Rush of Battle. Okay. I get the Trumpet Blast now. Sure. Yeah. I do like these new player drafts because they they force you into thinking about what your other players are picking more. Not that. Um, not yeah. not. I, I don't yeah, know. yeah. I mean, just like uh, just keep thinking. I'd pick that at this point. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Hey, Defiant Strike's not bad filler. I should have. Anything I should... Yeah, uh, put the Cranial Archive inside more. Oh, wait, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho! I mean, that's pretty easily Azan Charm. Oh, see that? I was trying to figure out what the heck was going on. That's like a weird... Mythic card. Uh, the Bellowing Saddle Brute sucks that you're passing it. Yeah. The second one would be even better than the first. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are very many people. Maybe somehow magically it will. Yeah, maybe it'll wheel, but uh, Abzan Charm is just too good. Mm. So, uh, if you could, while you're waiting, mm -hmm. um, take the Hardened Scales, put it inside board. Oh, okay. You can just double click it to put it inside board. Oh, okay. And the two defiant strikes. And 
and the red cards. Uh, and the cranial archive. Yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. So you're eight playables. Uh, you have more than that, but like eight solid playables. Mm -hmm. You probably like to get lands or focus more on black, maybe. Okay. Um, and hostilities is just the pick here. Hands down. If you're playing away and you see an in hostilities, <laughs> you pick it up. Uh, kill shot's pretty sweet. Yeah. I wonder what our whispers in the dark have to say about getting into hostilities. to get the blossoming sands but there's a Mardu uh, horde chief here so mm -hmm. you don't have any mana fixing yet though yeah which is a big bummer um, well again there's probably four people in here so. yeah maybe you'll force somebody out of their colors there's at least two Epsan players though yeah Um, that guy's okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I actually kind of like the right of the serpent here. Oh, okay. Just destroy a dude. Also, it's yeah. good against Abzan, and you know somebody <laughs> else is playing it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I've seen you play this before, but I'm not quite sure exactly what it is. Alpine Grizzly is a pick here. Okay. Um, long Shot Squad is just quite a bit slower to interact. Um, I guess it is pretty good with uh, Abzan Charm and Abzan Ascendancy, but Alpine Grizzly is just pretty solid. I do really like the Alabaster Carrion here. I mean, yeah, he's got flying and vigilance. I've seen him do. Yeah, I've seen him do a lot of work. Right. Uh, throttle would be nice to pick up, but uh, seems like removal's coming around. Okay. Mm, I can get the. Yep. Pretty easily the Blossoming Sands here. Name Rasperin is still in the pack. Um, I mean, there's only really one card that you want at this point, so you could get out of your colors if you wanted, but. So, like, with this? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Shot squad. Is it the? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, dazzling ramparts is actually pretty good. Hmm. Yeah. Um. It's a fine card to pick up. It's really good with in, in hostilities. Hmm. Because like you just wipe the board, then you play that and. They can't really do anything for a while. Uh, should I get the... The Sidisi's pet. 
Smoke Teller is not bad either, but I do like Sadisi's Pet. Is that... Oh, I see. I would just take the warning mask, right? Yeah. Fate wants me to have it. Or something, I guess? Yeah. Alright, uh, take Feed the Clan out. And, uh, War Name Aspirant, any race. Three Your one drop. Uh, sort by color if you could. Okay, so it's pretty easily that guy. Yeah. Um, so Suspension Field would be sweet. If you didn't have that guy, so would uh, debilitating injury. But that guy is obviously the best. And you're you are kind of leaning so many different directions in your colors. It does suck. Oh yeah. Any thoughts, my lady? Um. I do like uh, that guy. Yeah, I see that guy. Um, there's also that uncommon there, the Outlast guy. He's pretty oh, good. Guy? Yeah. He's, okay. He's pretty good with uh, your uh, your ascendancy and your charm. Oh right. Okay. I can't um, forget what these two are doing. Mm -hmm. Oh right. Okay. Ooh, savage punch. Bear punch. <laughs> Sweet, bear punch. Hey, how do I mute this so you can hear me talk about how much she sucks? <laughs> Not like that. Oh, damn, sorry. <laughs> Bye, Matt. Um... That's not a whisper in the dark. <laughs> what the heck's going on here? Uh, Sage Eye Interiors is pretty good, actually. Okay. Uh, it's a warrior if you get any things that go with warriors. Oh. Uh, and it's a good blocker. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What? Suspension field come back around? Okay. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, Cookie? It's between Unyielding Krumar here and Alpine Grizzly. I guess you've got the incremental growth, but I don't like that. Um, incremental growth sucks. Too, too conditional. conditional. Uh, I guess you want to look at which which color you're leaning heavier on, and I'd probably pick up the Alpine Grizzly, just because you're a lot heavier green. Oh, okay. Raider spoils. Do we not see that the first time around? No, we picked up um something else. What oh, was it? it was probably the hooded yeah, hydra. Yeah, the hydra. Oh, okay. I don't know. Uh, dutiful return maybe. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting card if you're in a s slow dirtily thing. I like the combat trick here, the dragon scale bone. Oh, okay. It'll be something that people aren't seeing coming. Well, they should, they've seen it like five times. Um, <laughs> this guy now? Yeah. This guy, yes? Yeah, sure. Um, I suppose you can pick up the defiant strike here, you're not going to play two of the tusk guys. 
you're not going to play three Defiant Strikes either, probably, though. Oh, no, I'm doing it. Craft is a bad card. Although hmm. it is pretty good with the Vigilance guy. I'd pick it up, though. Yeah. I... Yeah. Yay, building! Huzzah! I only need seven lands, right? Um, ah, what do you do? Yep. So you want to take the dutiful return out, the city sees pet, it's a black card. Right. The other defiant strike, there you go. There's more than... There are two already in your sideboard. Oh, I don't want any in there? Yeah, no. Okay. Siegecraft. That one up. Uh, no, you do have uh, Raider Spoils, so it's not bad. Uh, take out Kentry Warden. Oh, right. Uh, Tusk Law Sedan. And now let's look at uh, Mana Curve. You have a lot of four drops. Um, Could I have this guy? Yeah, take that guy out. I'd probably take out Boone, too. Yeah. Um. Wait. I think you should take out Rite of the Serpent just based on its mana cost. Oh, yeah. Because black is going to be your smallest color. Right. And maybe, with that being said, maybe Disown Ancestor isn't great either. That's 18 lands, huh? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Yeah, let me see if I can... So you can sort into color to make this easier on you. Oh, right. I don't normally count the three color cards just because I keep them in mind, but I don't count them. Oh, okay. And you can count a lot of two. So you got eight white. Yeah. You got eight, five, five. Nine, I think. Oh, ten. Uh, it's more like nine because uh, Wooly Locks It On only costs one green to morph up. Oh, okay. Um, so you got two, or you've got a green and a white. I think what it had is actually good. It yeah. had seven green. Seven, five, and five. That's. Yeah. That's yeah, I like that. That's not too many black? No, because you want your three colored spells. Oh, that's true. I kind of. There weren't, like, somebody was taking all of the uh, lands, it seemed. Yeah. You got one on color land, which yeah. sucks. I didn't, I feel like I didn't see that many, but... Mm, yeah, you didn't see that many. That's not... Again, that's not too many. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have a little bit of land trouble, but you have the inhostilities and some bomby cards to 
kind of sure things up. Okay. It's not the most streamlined deck, but it was a four-player seal. Yeah. Or four-player draft, which makes things more complicated. Yeah. So go ahead and uh, submit. Okay. All right. And, and do you want to? Oh. Anything? No, I'll see you when the fun starts.